Everyone, please silence their cell phones. <clears throat> please, no conversations during the. Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for joining us at today's annual FDNY Memorial Service. Please rise for the presentation of the colors by the FDNY Ceremonial Unit Color Guard. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by firefighter Regina Wilson. Thank you, Firefighter Wilson. Please remain standing while FDNY Chaplain Reverend Ann Cansfield delivers the invocation. Gracious God, be with each of us now as we pause to remember our beloved colleagues, as we seek to comfort their families and loved ones and as we give thanks for their service to others. Still our minds, calm our souls, and open us to be fully present to this moment now. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Cansfield. Retire the colors. Due to the unfortunate circumstance of the current pandemic, we are unable to have this ceremony at the Fireman's Monument. Prior to today, three wreaths were placed in front of the Fireman's Monument by the FDNY Ceremonial Unit. These wreaths were laid in honor of our fallen members. One wreath 
in honor of our deceased members of the fire service. One wreath in honor of our deceased members of the EMS service. And one wreath is representative of the department as a whole. Let us bow our heads and observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Once again, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Battalion Chief Mark Guerra. I am the Executive Officer to the Fire Commissioner, and I am honored to be the Master of Ceremonies today. On behalf of Mayor de Blasio, Fire Commissioner Nigro, Chief of Department Sudnik, other members of the Fire Department Executive Staff, and Union officials, I would like to welcome you all to the annual FDNY Memorial Service. It is now my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, the Mayor of the City of New York, the Honorable Bill de Blasio. In the dark of night, when FDNY trucks are called upon, the people of New York City know one thing for sure, help is on the way. And this year we knew that more than ever. I wish we could all gather together in person to honor and remember our brave heroes this Memorial Day. We owe it to them to continue their good work and to keep each other safe. Because New York's bravest is more than just a nickname, it's a mission statement. It's a statement of pride and purpose. And those who join the ranks know that's not just a job, it is a calling. All of you joined a family dedicated to protecting all the other families of this city. And you know that with every call, you're ready to run toward the danger, and we honor you for that. We know painfully that any call could be the last one. And so to the families, to the friends, to the loved ones of those we honor today, we mourn with you, we remember with you, we say together, God bless the FDNY. Thank you, Mayor de Blasio. It is now my pleasure to introduce our fire commissioner, Dan Nigro. Good afternoon and welcome to our Memorial Day ceremony. Normally, I would be addressing all of you from the steps of our monument on Riverside Drive, and there would be thousands of our active and retired members in formation as a sign of profound respect and love for our fallen members. That monument is a special place for all of us. It was built with donations from New Yorkers more than a century ago. It serves as a memorial to the 1,153 members of the FDNY who have been killed in the line of duty and to the more than 226 members who died of illnesses related to their work at the World Trade Center. It is an inspiring tribute to all who have ever served this great department, all the men and women who risked their lives day after day responding to fires and medical emergencies across our city. This year, beyond the life-saving work our members normally perform, they found themselves on the front lines of a pandemic as well. Year after year on this day, our FDNY family gathers in extraordinary numbers on Riverside Drive to honor their friends and loved ones we have lost. As we all know, gathering in extraordinary numbers is not something any of us can or should be doing these days. So I stand before you today in front of an equally inspiring tribute to the bravery and sacrifice of this department as we gather in a different way to remember 15 people we have lost this year. They were 15 individuals, but they were all part of one important life-saving mission. Their stories varied greatly. Some were veteran members of our department, who saved lives for decades. Others had just started their careers, choosing the most noble profession, working day and night to protect and serve and save others. My friend, one of our department chaplains, Rabbi Joseph Potasnik, often quotes a line from Jewish scripture that I think is especially appropriate on this day, 
because it speaks to the pain of our loss this year. Whoever saves one life saves the entire world. Each of these extraordinary people saved so many lives in their careers. They chose the path of caring for and helping others. We remember them today for that choice to do all they could to save others, to risk their lives, to train and teach their fellow firefighters, EMTs, and paramedics, to simply make our city a better place. We remember them for the indelible impact they made on this department and the incredible way they chose to live their life of service. We gather to remember them and to honor their loved ones as well. To the families of those we honor today, you have heard this statement before, but I wanted to reiterate once more to each of you, we will never forget your loved ones. They mattered greatly to this city and to our entire department. May God bless the memory of FDN, every FDNY member who has died in the line of duty, who was battling illness, and all those members of the FDNY who we lost this past year. And may God continue to bless the FDNY. Thank you, Commissioner. Next, we'll hear from the Chief of Department, John Sudnick. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. To our members at the firehouse and EMS station, we're off duty watching from home. Thank you for being a part of this important event. As you well know, Memorial Day is a day when, under normal circumstances, we all turn out. We're either working or we're on Riverside Drive at the memorial service. Unfortunately, these are not normal times. And the fact is, you have shown up for our fallen brothers this year many times over. And you'll keep showing up for them, because that's what we do. Much is asked of you every day, so you train hard to prepare for the worst types of fires and emergencies you could possibly face. And this year, even more was asked when this insidious pandemic hit our city. Suddenly, your work became significantly more difficult and ominously more dangerous. Your time away from work was trying as well, as the virus had a tremendous impact on our families at home. But in the greatest tradition of the FDNY, you did not waver. You showed up, you got on the rig, and responded to every call, and you fulfilled the mission. Our department has never seen a busier period for medical calls than we did this past spring. And all of you stepped up to care for and protect the people of our city. That passion for helping others, that steadfast commitment to always answer the call is present in all of our members. The 15 heroes we remember today had that same drive and determination and they displayed it on every single tour throughout their entire careers. On this day each year, our Memorial Day, we pay tribute to all those we sadly lost before their work was done. Though we are physically apart this year, we are together today in spirit to honor them as a solemn show of respect for their families and to keep our promise to stand by their side, always. That is why this day, more than any other, is the most important one on our calendar. These 15 members worked incredibly hard to join the FDNY because they wanted to be part of something special, to help those in danger and those in need. They all served with courage, with pride, and with dedication. To our active members watching today, let's keep their memories alive by continuing to train hard, refine our skills, and be prepared. Our department is without question 
the premier emergency response agency in the world, I am always so proud to say that we are the best, and that is a testament to all of you. Thank you for all you do in order to achieve that life-saving mission. We are forever grateful to the outstanding people who came before us, who gave their lives in service to this city and to this great department. We will never forget. And a very special thank you once again to the families of our fallen members. We are sorry we could not be together today, but please know we will always remember your loved ones and we will always continue to honor them through our exceptional work today and every day. Thank you all, and please stay safe. Thank you, Chief. In tribute to our fallen members, we will now hear a hymn by the FDNY Emerald Society Pipes and Drums. Thank you to the FDNY Emerald Society Pipes and Drums for that beautiful selection. FDNY Chaplain Monsignor John Delendick will deliver the necrology. The necrology is the reading of the names of all of the active members of the fire and EMS services lost to the department within the past year. We honor their memory and are grateful for all they did while members of this department. To our families at home, we presented letters of condolence for you to refer to. The following members died on active duty since last Memorial Day. Battalion Chief John J. Nikeel, Center for Terrorism and Disaster Preparedness, September 14th, 2019. <phone rings> Firefighter Matthew J. McDevitt, Ladder Company 135, October 29th, 2019. <phone rings> Emergency Medical Technician, Alexander Razzo, Station 59, March 16th, 2020. <phone rings> Emergency Medical Technician, Richard Seabury, Station 50. March 26th, 2020. <phone rings> Emergency Medical Technician, Robert F. Tier, Station 20, March 31st, 2020. <phone rings> Emergency Medical Technician, Gregory H. Hodge, New York City Office of Emergency Management, April 12th, 2020. <phone rings> Emergency Medical Technician, John Red, Emergency Medical Dispatch, April 21st, 2020. <phone rings> Emergency Medical Technician, 
Idris A. Bay, Bureau of Training, April 21st, 2020. Emergency Medical Technician, John S. Mondello, Bronx Tactical Response Group, April 24th, 2020. Emergency Medical Technician, Douglas E. Gertz, Station 7, June 16th, 2020. EMS Lieutenant, Matthew I. Keene, Station 17, June 19th, 2020. Emergency Medical Technician, Michael Lalima, Emergency Medical Dispatch, June 23rd, 2020. Firefighter, Christian E. Murphy, Ladder Company 6, July 13th, 2020. Emergency Medical Technician, Brandon K. Dorser, Emergency Medical Dispatch, PSAC 2, July 15, 2020. Firefighter, Jason McNamee, Ladder Company 134, August 26, 2020. May they rest in peace. Please rise for the playing of taps. Detail, hand, salute. Ready, two. Please welcome back to the podium Fire Commissioner Dan Nigro to recognize those lives lost in the FDNY to COVID-19. Traditionally, this ceremony has been reserved for remembering and honoring our Fire and EOS members who have died in the last year. But this has been a year unlike any other for all of us. Our entire department has been engaged in a battle with COVID-19. Each member of every bureau was heavily involved in our response to this pandemic. Together, the entire FDNY, our fire and EMS members, our fire inspectors, our mechanics, and all our civilians played an important role in this fight, a fight that continues still today. In addition to four emergency medical technicians we honored moments ago, Richard Seabury, Gregory Hodge, John Ray, Red, and Idris Bay. We remember seven of our active civilian members who have died due to COVID-19. Auto mechanic, James Vallecco. Deputy Chief Fire Inspector, Syed Rahman. Clerical Associate Kenneth Stubbs. Principal Administrative Associate Kelly Childs. Fire Inspector Edward Mungin. Supervising Auto Mechanic Thomas Ward. Supervising Fire Inspector Mark Remolino. 
and emergency medical te technician Paul Carey from Aurora, Colorado, who was responding to calls for help here in New York City as one of us. We remember these wonderful individuals, we honor them, and we will never forget them. Thank you, Commissioner. Please rise for the benediction by FDNY Chaplain Father Joseph Hoffman. Let us recall that we are in the presence of God. Loving God, we commend to your goodness and kindness the, members, the deceased members of our department family who have passed from this life. We give you thanks, O Lord, for the wonderful people that you gave us and for the witness of their lives. Their presence among us has taught us about service, commitment, dedication, selflessness, and compassion. We ask you to help us to honor them by following their example and making it your own. Please receive them with open arms into your kingdom and give them the reward they so richly deserve. Continue to fill us who remain with your spirit and pour out your blessings upon the families of our departed family members. We ask you, Lord, today to bless our department family, our city, today and always. Amen. Thank you, Father Hoffman. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the mayor, the fire commissioner, and the chief of department, thank you all for joining us for the annual FDNY memorial service honoring our fallen members. This concludes the ceremony. Have a great evening.